Hello, friends. Joy Connect again here with another episode of Field Notes. This one for client success and account management, but also we have another video that you can check out uh, related to how this is also with sales. Uh, if you're not familiar with what Field Notes are, uh, me and our team obviously have the great pleasure of working with great customers around the country and, and the world and really helping them address critical problems in, in B2B collaboration and communication in the areas of sales, onboarding, and of course, account growth. And today's topic uh, and these field notes is us being able to bring some of these, these problems, challenges, slash opportunities uh, to you. And then of course, there's plenty more resources that we provide and obviously a solution in this case. But one of the topics or the topic for today's field note uh, is getting greater uh, client accountability during that customer success plan. As we know in other videos, we've talked about land and expand is a very popular uh, philosophy for a lot of companies now where uh, there's a lot of risk. And so companies don't want to come in with huge contracts. They want to start simple and then have to be expanded over time, more seats, more services, all sorts of things. So this puts extreme pressure and challenge, especially if you're a vice president of CS or account here, that your team is consistently heavily engaging with the customers to one, prove the current value, but then also germinate opportunities for additional value and getting access to those clients and really getting accountability from those clients to, to, to grow is really complex because they're, 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 all their vendors are, are asking for their time and it becomes a real challenge in one of the things, a, a simple solution, um, but meaningful solution that seems to have a uh, really good uh, repertoire of success and, and accountability uh, is, a, is a simple process uh, called MAPS, Mutual Action Plans, but then also the sequence of events of how those MAPS are tied with uh, client audits or some sort of client interaction where you're understanding their top three bleeding points, then putting together a mutual action plan around that. And that, that mutual action plan has actionable, mutually accountable steps throughout the quarter and the year, typically yearly, but they're spread out through that, right? So that you can get the right leaders in those meetings um, because that's really the challenge, right? Getting the, the face time, the challenge time. And so the more you can prep, the more you can have that in a centralized environment to guide these uh, decisions and problems Problems, uh, we've seen substantial uh, changes uh, in basically the accountability of clients actually showing up for their QBRs or strap plans or those types of things, because now they see them as being much more valuable and how you're looking out for them to help them grow their business. Um, and so this, this field note is just we're seeing a, a marked difference in how organizations that are putting uh, effort and discipline into that and being able to do that at scale is also a challenge. And so needing that centralized infrastructure to, to do that. We have many more resources on this topic at www.proteus.co, our corporate site, proteus.co. And of course, you can look at some other field notes that we have here and some other interviews uh, where we kind of unpack this with leaders uh, like yourself on some of the challenge points. But this is uh, in, a, in a market where it's competitive for people's time. It's becoming ever more important that the team is organized on your team is organized and providing meaningful value in a mutual way uh, to do that. So again, appreciate the time. Check out the additional resources and hit us up if you have any other questions. Thanks.